Hey folks, welcome back to our next Let's Play. We're going to start the mission, Whatsoever a Man Soweth. Me, Old Geard's Man at the Alchemy Inn, which, by the way, we are right here. We are at a Jello Alert level 3 and a Ghost Alert level 3. It's the next day, and they still are might be up and around. I hear him moving around in the bedroom, so we'll see. All right, let's go on in here. See what we got. Uh, talk to the Redanian. No, I guess that's not the guy. Okay, we're going to find him. He's probably right in here. Prob there we go. Poor Iris. I really liked Iris. Two points, and be quick about it. Ah! Please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up, and Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draft. Geralt! Over here! Oi, wait a looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. Some other time. Hey now. Don't make me beg. It's my treat. Show off. Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous plaything. And a great spice to use in gingerbread. So, you were listening. Indeed, occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Like spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly things. Oh my god, he is kind of a dork. You actually control time, or is this just some conjurer's trick? What difference does it make? A big one. Hmm. Let us say, time has always fascinated me. So I taught myself how best to use it. Why time, of all things? Geralt, there are four dimensions. Length, width, height, and time. What would you have me fall in love with? Width? Come now. <laughs> Who are you, really? Gauntor Odin, also known... Not what I'm asking. Ah, so you'd rather know what it is I do. In brief, I give folk what they ask for. You might say, I simply grant their wishes. And drop them in a world of hurt. No, not I. That would be their poorly formulated wishes. I'm no cheat. I give folk what they want, nothing more. That the oft-desired unworthy things, that is entirely the fault of their rotten natures. You're not human, that's clear. So what are you? A demon? A djinn? Do you really wish to know? Yes. No, Geralt. You don't. This one time I shall spare you and not grant your wish. All who have learned my true name are now either dead or have met an even worse fate. Yet I still need you. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with Olgierd. In fact, You've almost satisfied your debt. Was supposed to fulfill his three wishes. Did just that. This is where you remove the brand, because we're even. Nearly. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw all gear to the Temple of Lilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print which, nevertheless, changes the ultimate meaning of the pact. This applies to oral contracts as well. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well, and once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. End quote. Mm, yeah, I remember. Fulfill your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand.
That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking to someone. Oh. What the devil? Why is there a fly in my soup? Was waiting. Had an eye out for you. Didn't see you come in. How is it you're here? I'm a witcher. Superhuman quickness. Just one of my many qualities. You tossed this fly in my soup? No. Now listen carefully. Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Lilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. What's the commotion? Lilvani's temple, got it? Aye, got it. Hold that! Your friend, the medic, she were here. Ask that you look in on her. Thanks. Oh, Shani, I'll go look on, in on Shani. I hope she's not mad at me. Good folk, did you see? The bloke literally dropped dead. Blind drunk he was. Maybe ah. Oh, dude, I am so sorry. He's such, he's horrible. Like, he's almost tolerable until he's just a dick. And then, then you can see that he's horrible and I need to kill him. That's me. Geralt. Demon Slayer. Dom dom. All right. So make sure I was going towards the right place. We're going to go to Shawnee's because she's cute and I like her. Oh, is it? It's this building. I always hate the buildings that you kind of go in only a specific area. Here we go. We're coming down here. Come down here to visit my paramour. And obviously it's up a level because I've now figured out what that means. That icon. Now here we go. Hey, hon. Shani? Oh, Geralt. Good thing you're here. What happened? Somebody break in? This? Uh, no. Just getting ready to move. What? When? when where to? Uh, not what I wanted to talk to you about. Or at least not only, but... I'm leaving, Geralt. The Eastern Front beckons. I'm Kedwin Bound. Never mentioned you'd be moving? Any intention to, either? I didn't know I would be. Found out this morning. Two soldiers came to my door, said Redania needs me again. Couldn't turn them down? Just say no? Uh, perhaps I could've. But I didn't want to. Treating the ill and wounded, it's my calling. No place I'm needed more than at the front. Can't you reconsider and stay? Geralt, what for? The wedding, the time we've spent together, it was nice. But you have your life and I have mine. We... This doesn't make sense long term. You know that as well as I do. Well, you take care of yourself. You too, Geralt. So, learn anything about Olgird? Well, I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows him. Find anyone? Turned out I didn't need to look far. A colleague at the Academy, an assistant to Professor Pramathine Shakeslock, claims Olgird von Everick met with the Professor multiple times. Apparently, Olgird asked the Professor to do some research. Professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't even let his assistant look at them. The Professor. Where'll I find him? Here in Oxenfurt. Cloistered inside his house on Academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Mage hunters at the door. He under house arrest? I can't say, really. Some of the faculty think him a traitor. Say he sold out to the hunters for a hefty pouch of gold. The assistant, on the other hand, insists the Professor wants him there to protect him. I don't know what from. What's your guess? He's certainly useful to them. A specialist in black magic and the occult? Must be a trove of knowledge. If he's really gone off his nutter, I wouldn't be surprised to see them using him. Need to talk to this professor. We'll go together. 
Redanian guards all over the Academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never stopped me, you know that. Mm. Wound these, and I'll have to patch them up. Besides, we might run into a friend. Get inside free and easy. Alright, I'll follow you, Shawnee. I am so sad you're leaving, but you know what? Maybe this means I need to go to Kedwin. Kedwinny? Kedwin. I can never pronounce things. Like, that is the worst thing in the world for me to do. So how are things at the Academy these days? You mean since Radovid shut it down? I mean, is it well guarded? Might be all it is. Many of the faculty fled to the far north. The braver ones stayed, but assumed the guises of tailors and laundresses. Why? Just curious. Scholars seem to have adopted well, mage tactics. They in the same bind? So the Eastern Front, and then? Depends where they send me. Wherever it is, take care of yourself. Always do. So don't worry. Oh, you know, I don't know if I've been to... I guess we have been to the Academy in the first game. I just don't remember when. Maybe not. Yeah, we have, because I fought in this courtyard. Yeah, I fought in this courtyard. That's how I know if I've been a place. Have I spilled blood? Wait, something says read. Hold on, hun. Hold on. I saw it say read. Due to ongoing hostilities, all faculties and departments of Oxenford Academy have been closed and the institution's privileges revoked. The student body is hereby conscripted into the Redanian army with exceptions granted only to philosophers whose constitutions make them unfit for any practical activity whatsoever, as well as medics and herbalists who are required to report to the field hospital at once. Long live King Radovoid. Oh, he's a dick. He's a dick. Halt! By order of King Radovid, no one's allowed inside the academy. Not even lecturers? No one means no one. See, you've become quite the stickler, Norbert. You were much kinder when I was patching you up. By the way, how's your knee? Fine. Dandy. As if no arrow ever struck it. Consider yourself a lucky man. Because if I'd not decided to operate, you'd be a cripple to the end of your days. <clears throat> Bruno? Hey. Maybe we ought to let her in. She's a decent lass. Not like to steal nothing. Hmm. All right. But alone. Which will draw too much attention. I'd rather not get chipped from the captain on his account. Here's what we'll do. I'll go in, then help you sneak in around the back. How? Don't know, but I'll figure something out. Usually aren't nearly as many guards on the riverside. Agreed. All right. Let me in. Arrow to his knee. I love that she repaired the arrow to his knee so he wasn't injured. Oh yeah, Skyrim references. Gotta love it. All right, I think let us make sure I select that spot and don't go towards Ulgird. Is this it? Yeah, that is. So we're going to mark that as our place to go. Just so that little trail thing will show me where to go. I will see you folks there. Oh, hey, look. It's a boat. That I probably can't. Oh, I'm just gonna swim across. We're not even worried about the boat. The boat's gonna take so long for me to get in and figure the controls. I might as well just swim across and go around. See, here we go, running around. Wow. So what I want to know is how come these monsters are all from ten times bigger? All right. So we got it fixed. We're gonna make sure we have the Quinn thing set up. We're supposed to go here, isn't it? Here. There we go. Geralt! Psst! Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Grab the line! Where'd you get the rope? <sighs> Long story. But we've done well. Professor Shakeslock's house is at the end of this street. Witch hunters guard the door. Doubt I'll be able to sweet talk them. Been a huge help already, Shani. Thanks. <laughs> it was nothing. Really. You'd have done the same for me. If you wish to see me again before I go, I'll be at home. Packing will take some time yet. All right. Be seeing you. Oh, definitely when I'm done with the professor, I'm going to go back and see her, because I don't know if I'll have a chance to see her after I go meet Olgird. So we're going to go here. There we go. Come on. Oh, I guess I need to do the blast, don't I? What is the blast? I always forget what the blast is. 
No, I always picked the wrong one. There we go. Down we go to see the professor. Mr. Professor, we need to talk. But while we're here, do you have anything good for me to take? Oh, there's, I, I am so blind, I can't tell where anything's at in this place. That's another reason why I like Dragon Age, so much background stuff. Franco, is that you? Leave the bedpan in the usual spot. And take the platter, I shan't be eating today. Professor Shakeslock? Who the blazes? How'd you get in? Get out! I know nothing! Don't wish to know anything! Understand? No, no, no! Out! Not gonna hurt you. That demon sent you. I'm sure of it. No one sent me. You lie. I may be blind, but I sense unclean powers better than anyone. Why do you think the witch hunters guard me like a treasure? I'm a witcher. Hmm. A mutant. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Could be. Why are there guards outside your door? You a prisoner? Protective custody. That's the phrase. Protective. <laughs> when I cannot decide my own fate, cannot breathe without their permission. What do they want from you? You may not be aware, but I am one of the foremost experts on the occult. Living experts, that is. My mentor was the outstanding Professor Lionel Van... And you're cooperating with the witch hunters now? Cooperating? <laughs> As if I had a choice. They're ignorant. But not enough to ignore what I know about magic, witches, sorceresses, what have you. Knowledge they use for barbaric ends. But that's beyond my control. I came here because I need information. Think you might be the only man who has it. Hmm. A witcher. Then it follows I needn't fear. I'm hardly a post-conjunction creature. What did Olgierd von Everick want from you? I curse the day I first set eyes upon the man. He appeared at my doorstep one day, offering a sack of gold were I only to find out who Gaunter Odim is and how to get rid of him. I agreed. Such matters are my speciality. And I needed the coin. I pored over countless tomes, delved into obscure incidents and analysed folk legends. I went so far as to travel to Nilfgaard, the library there, where at last I hit upon the mysterious entity's trail. There are records of encounters dating back thousands of years in many cultures under many names but always as evil incarnate. In this land, we call him Gaunter Odim, at times, Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. In deciphering the ancient scrawlings, I went blind. Yet I learned a great deal. For example, that he plays with his victims and thrives on pacts above all else. Seemingly harmless contracts which drive their parties to madness. Know anything else about the man? Gaunter Odim is no man. He is evil. Evil which assumes various forms. Forget about him, or die. You're alive. Alive? Yet I live in constant fear, born of what I've learned about him. What's with the surroundings? These runes, what do they mean? They protect me. Here, evil cannot touch me. How do you know? told me himself. Paid me a visit once. Fascinating meeting that was. I was blind already, but saw him clearly. He smiled at me. Said he was honoured I'd taken such an interest in him. He wished to thank me, and explained he'd taken a similar interest in me. He drew the circle and said I'd be safe within it. His way of repaying me, you see. Ever tried to leave it? If you'd heard how he said it, you'd be as certain as I am what leaving would bring. 
Ogier'd sign one of these pacts with him. Brilliant deduction. But have you guessed why? You must know that he came from a wealthy, influential line. He must have, if the family of his betrothed accepted him. Yet did you know, his fortune soured. He himself became an outcast, impoverished. Iris's family, a powerful house, could not accept this. Would not marry their daughter to a nobody. Olgierd wished to elope. The further away, the better. Yet Iris refused to cut her family ties. Quite the predicament. Indeed. Their luck turned yet darker when a wandering witch mentioned a solution. A man who would grant any wish. His name, Master Mirror. The rest follows naturally. Olgierd and Odim. A meeting at a crossroads. A wish. A pact signed in blood. And a price to be paid. Olgierd was to sacrifice one he loved. Old Dim delights in difficult choices. He knew Olgi had loved two in this world. His betrothed and his brother, Vladimir. Olgi chose and soon thereafter married his beloved Iris. His fortune restored. Olgi would tell you all that? He had to. How else was I to diagnose his case? Make it sound like an illness. It is worse. Many illnesses are treatable, but play with evil. Medicine can be much harder to find. So did Olgierd kill his own brother? No, no, no. Deduce, Witcher. Odim acts directly or indirectly. Hmm? Olgierd merely signed the blood letter. The next day, his brother was dead dead. Why was all geared out to get rid of Odim? He'd gotten what he wanted. Had he? <laughs> his heart had turned cold as ice. His feelings for his wife, for whom he'd sacrificed his brother, had withered. He'd lost all he'd loved. Had he wanted any of this? No. Odim grants what you wish, not what you want. All who sign a pact learn the difference and die by it. All? No way to get rid of him? Kill him, you mean? Kill evil? <laughs> no. Yet the annals tell of a man who dissolved his pact by defeating Odim at his own game. Meaning? Odim wields contracts, word traps, duels of wits. Challenge him to such a duel. He'll agree. And can be beaten. But remember... There is only ever one stake. The sole thing he truly desires. Human souls. Odim left a mark on my face. Any way to get it off? A mark? No mention in the tomes. Strange. Unless... Unless it will disappear once your pact is fulfilled. If I challenge him, end the pact that way, will it go away? That I do not know. The one man who succeeded bore no mark. Thanks. Helped me a lot. Good. Very good. Ah, oh, to feel useful after so many years locked up, living in fear. Why, it's pleasance itself. 